Okay, it is Sunday, March 3rd. As you can see, wintertime is still here. I'm a little disappointed in that because I had a very warm weekend. Not last weekend, but weekend before. I actually got to work with the garage open. But as you can see, wintertime is not through with us yet. But Torino is almost ready to try. Uh, stayed pretty busy on, all, on it all day. Actually, all weekend, doing something that I didn't think would take me almost the entire weekend. By the time I had to run to the hardware store and get some stuff, it pretty much did. We uh, got the uh, 3 8 steel hard lines run to the transmission, got my cooler remounted. Uh, I kind of like the way this part turned out. Uh, I used my, well, I don't have my, I got a Summit flaring tool I was going to show to you I've already put it away but it works really nice I need to make a video on using it because it does a really good job <clears throat> the only rubber connection I got is on these rubber lines here and this out here I'm kind of happy with the way that turned out it really cleaned things up I need to hide that wiring <clears throat> actually I have a lot of wiring I want to hide on this car but um I moved the cooler away from the radiator just because it's a lot easier to get your lines on and if you want to remove the radiator you don't have to fool with that it just stays where it's at but I'm happy with the way that turned out and if I can find a flashlight underneath it turned out okay I mean it's better than what I had I had steel braided lines which looked okay but they were rubber and I was kind of worried that the heat was causing them to close up, so that's why I went, why I went with hard lines. Got a connection right there, and this bend here, that didn't turn out exactly the way I wanted it, uh, but I was thinking it would look a lot better if I were to make a holder. I don't know how well you can see. It's dark under here. I need to turn on a light. Hang on a minute. Okay, got a nice bright light. As I was saying, this will look better. I'm thinking about making me some sort of holder that would separate them. If they were spread apart like that, they would look a little bit more uniform there. Like I said, this bend here, that didn't turn out the way I wanted it, but it's pretty much, I'm going to have to live with it, and it is under the car. But I think if I were to separate them with a holder, that would be okay. Okay, I know it's hard to see. Just showing you what all it looks like underneath. And it turned out pretty good, I think. Not bad. Not as perfect as you, as you always visualize when you want to custom make your transmission lines or fuel lines or whatever. But um, it's really hard to bend that hard 3-8 stuff. This here, probably a holder right here will make that look a little better. And that one's a little closer to the header than I want it to be. I am going to uh, order me some thermal wrap to protect this from heat and I may wrap it around the line too. Same goes for this spot right here as you can see right next here and here are the headers painted on the car as you can see I still need to put the exhaust on uh, if it wasn't so cold outside I probably would have started this up today with open headers and seeing how the transmission worked but since it's so cold and nasty out, I'm just not motivated to do that. To open the doors and do that. And since originally these Fords come out with 5/16th line, and believe me, while I was in the middle of this, I was wishing I'd have bought some 5/16th hard line. Uh, I had to use a 3/8 flare fitting. I got a, spent about thirty dollars worth of fittings from the hardware store. The two connectors you've seen up front. I've got a 3/8 flare which goes to a quarter inch. MPT thread, but I had to tap the inside of that for an eighth inch because the eighth inch NPT is what goes in these transmissions. And this one has a 45 on it. And this one is just a, if you can see it, probably can't, maybe you can if I do that. There it is. So, that's what it looks like underneath. I'm going to, I'll probably do a little tweaking and bending. Maybe, hopefully, to get that a little further away from that pipe. But, um, I'm kind of happy with it. If there's any rattling, I will deal with that once I get it running. 
And like I said, the exhaust has some leaks. I'm going to fix that hopefully next week. And I ran into uh, a hassle on the driver's side header. I had a stripped out exhaust bolt, 3816 thread, and I ended up running a 716 14 tap. And that I spent most of the week, a couple hours every every day after work dealing with that because I put it on realized uh, that bolt was not going to hold the thread had to take the headers back off and stick a tap down in that tight place right there and it took me a good hour just to get the tap in and out because it was just really slow going had to stick it in there and put a wrench on it but I kind of like the way that turned out there that's probably the best part of it this um uh, trans cooler I'll make it look better I'll straighten those fins out and um, I'll put my coil wire back on it oils changed the new filters on it it's uh, almost full of transmission fluid but hopefully I'll be starting this and uh, if we get some decent weather I can do a video of driving it I will show you how it turns out and since I didn't film any actual work I guess I'll do a cold start of the 66 F100 hasn't been started in two or three weeks oh it is so cold out I don't even have a jacket on either let's see how the 66 F100 starts up I'll end the video with that as you can tell I haven't been in it I had to yank the door open I'm going to pull the emergency brake out so it doesn't roll into my F-150. Choke's still out. Well, look at that. I swear to you, I did not start this for three weeks. This old truck's awesome. I really, really want to get it roadworthy. i got to fix the frame on it before I do that. And the floors, this cab is actually dropped a little bit but everything on it works that radio I think needs an antenna maybe I need to take it apart and clean it out but it's just trying to work I guarantee you it can be fixed heater works wipers work kinda I need new arms because they don't fit the shape of the window anymore but anyway hopefully next week weather permit we'll drive the tree on and we got to get the black car out of the trailer I got a small coolant leak I think it's just a radiator hose or something easy and let's hope the weather acts normal this year and we can do some racing and having fun with all this other old stuff thanks for watching